no one's gonna believe in you at first. Like you have to believe in yourself. When I started taking filmmaking seriously, even one of my cousins was like, you're never gonna make it. You know how many people are trying to make it? But what does making it even mean? That's all in your head. If you're making something, you're making it. You are creating the industry. You are molding the industry. My name is April Jones. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I was born in Modesto, California, and I moved to Portland, Oregon right after I graduated high school. I'm a skateboarder, artist, musician, so Portland was like the perfect place. I went to film school up there and worked on Portlandia and Intel and Red Bull and Little People Big World and did a bunch of art directing and production design. And the funny thing is I didn't set out to be a filmmaker. I wanted to go back to college and I wanted to do something creative and so I chose video production and so I took a few classes to see if I like it and then volunteering at the public access station and the next thing you know I have a public access TV series and then I just started like expanding from there and from my public access TV series one of those subjects ended up becoming a full-length documentary and then and now I'm on my second feature length. When I started taking it serious I'm like okay I have to build a resume and so it's like, what have I done? And I'm pulling from all these things and then I'm realized like, oh, I've made like almost 40 documentaries. I had no idea. I was just doing things to learn and just having fun with it. And I didn't really set out to be a filmmaker. I just set out to go do something creative and to learn and see how far I could push my mind. And I think that was the goal ultimately. I feel like you don't really need school to learn to make it in the industry. One thing I did really learn in school was how to use the equipment, which for me as an artist and not being very technical, that was probably the best thing for me. Um, just getting comfortable handling a camera and hooking up a mic, uh, lighting and, and creative lighting. If you're already technical and already know how to use equipment, then I don't feel like film school is going to push you that much further. There are opportunities yes. though. I mean, they do have internship opportunities and stuff. But yeah, my, my favorite thing about film school is learning to get comfortable using the equipment. But really, once I started getting work, I quit school. <laughs> I think the most important thing is those real life experiences you get from being on set whether it's volunteering or pay, like you're meeting people, you're getting out there and you're learning. I started documentary filmmaking because funding, I guess. You need money to do fiction work so much more than you can do unscripted. I also wanted to get into documentary filmmaking because I live such like an artistic lifestyle through skateboarding or music or art. There's just so many interesting people around me and so many talented individuals that I wanted to feature and support. So that really inspired me. Music was definitely my biggest inspiration. And later on when I got more into film, Penelope Spheris, who made Decline of Western Civilization and then went on to make Wayne's World. She was documenting the punk and heavy metal culture in the late 70s. Like no one even knew about it then. So that was really exciting because she was on the forefront of documenting these underground cultures that were not mainstream at all. So that was really inspiring as well. Probably my biggest hurdle is believing my, in myself because sometimes you're the only one that does. But it's more about exploring a territory that you don't know. How do you know what you don't know? Like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it wrong? And then you realize there is no right and wrong. You're just trying to figure out how to be sustainable and how to create without money. <laughs> How to create on low budgets. That's the most incredible thing about being an independent filmmaker. Like you have control over the creativity. I think just knowing that you have to create your own rules in order to follow through with your vision. It's hard to have drive. Most of the time I feel like I don't have enough drive to keep going. But I just, that's that's the only thing I know. Well, also growing up kind of poor helped <laughs> with creativity because there was nothing to do. Having no budget really helps you be creative. Like it almost helps you be more creative than because then you have to problem solve and use your mind to try to convey what you want to convey without money. I think the best way to like give yourself drive if you don't really have enough drive is to make creating the only option. I have my 
editing station, I have my art station, I have my music station. So if I don't want to make films, I'll go write some riffs. If I don't feel musically creative, I'll go paint or I'll tend to the garden. You know, like you have to make what you want to do your only options. If you want to start in the industry, the best thing you could do is learn. Learn, 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 learn. We have so much access to so many free resources. And just learn, like get off social media for a week and learn. All that is gonna clog your vision and clog your mind. It's gonna cloud what you want to do with your life. I bought a grant writing book and I worked on this grant for like three months. I'm not a writer, I'm a visual artist. So it was a little challenging for me and my very first grant I ever wrote, I won. I've won two awards because I did my research. With all my documentary filmmaking and everything I do, I think one of the messages I wanna convey the most is like get out in there and support each other because we are stronger in numbers and we're more powerful when we're together as a creative family. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Stay Creative. I used to work with April and honestly, I really do look up to her. I think she's doing an amazing job. She's out there, she's killing it. And as she said during this interview, she really does give everything that she has into every project that she's doing, regardless of the finances. It's just about getting out there, being yourself and staying creative. Oh, I want to be cool. I was just like, ah! Like this? Like, yeah, tuck the thumbs. I was like, which one? Yeah! <laughs> I was like, how do you do it? Keeping it.